Blackpink members Jenny and Rose recently became unfair targets of online harassment. Rose has been attacked with accusations of drug abuse based on a picture where she was allegedly spotted next to a table with drugs on it. These allegations which surfaced last year were debunked shortly after. YG Entertainment had also announced legal action against those who spread the rumor. Jenny, on the other hand, has been targeted with posts that can be considered borderline sexual harassment. Her hashtag has been replete with edited pictures aimed at slut-shaming and character assassination. Many also reposted a private picture of the idol that was leaked last year after she became a victim of cloud hacking. Fans and netizens expressed their surprise at the attacks directed towards Blackpink for baseless reasons. The agencies, including YG Entertainment, The Black Label, and Auditlier, have yet to announce what actions will be taken. Jenny seems to be making moves with her agency, Audelier. Recent trademark applications by OA Entertainment Inc., associated with Auditlier, have drawn attention to the name Kumulu fans speculate that Kumululu could be related to new merchandise, possibly featuring a character inspired by Jenny's dog Kuma, combined with a cumulus cloud, the trademark applications cover various categories, indicating a potential new brand or product line. Fans are eagerly waiting for more information on this exciting development from Jenny and her agency. Ives One Young sparked a significant debate after her comments about Sasanane's went viral. In a post titled Jang One Young Attacks Sasanane's, her messages were shared, where she expressed discomfort with intrusive behavior from Sasanane fans, stating that she would appreciate more understanding. Some netizens debated whether this was an attack, while others praised Won Young for her polite tone, arguing she was too kind to be considered aggressive. Many believe she was addressing Sasanangs while still showing love for her regular fans. Her approach has led to mixed reactions online. What are your thoughts? 17 Sum Kwan faced online backlash from certain fans of another popular idol after a misunderstanding involving his promotion of Cass Beer. The issue arose when Sung Kwan posted a beach photo holding cast light, along with a required disclaimer about the risks of excessive drinking. Some fans of the other idol misinterpreted his message, believing it was a subtle jab at their favorite. This led to a flood of criticism on Sung Kwan's Instagram. The situation escalated when Sung Kwan unpinned a post featuring Astro's Moonbin after receiving hate for his alcohol-related update. However, netizens clarified that the disclaimer is standard when promoting alcohol, and there was no intentional connection to any other artist. A stage compilation of all previous performances by X in at the Simply K-Pop Contour has been released on the Iran K-Pop YouTube channel. This release has sparked speculation among fans that a comeback might be imminent, with many viewing the compilation as a potential sign of something new on the horizon. The timing of this release has only fueled these rumors further, in addition to this exciting development, Exxon recently engaged with fans through a live stream on YouTube that featured all the members. During the stream, the group warmly greeted their fans and took the opportunity to interact with their global audience. Nova particularly stood out by showcasing her rap skills in an impressive and impressive and energetic performance that left fans in awe. The group also played Jay Park's song Taxi Blur Feet. Natty Kioff and Natty's solo track Sugarcoat adding to the musical excitement of the stream. Towards the end of the live session, Exxon participated in the trending 1234567 challenge, creating a new version that creatively combined their song Synchronize. This challenge video, which has been shared across all of Exxon's social media platforms, also featured a special appearance by Control X, known as Exxon's producer, adding an extra layer of excitement for fans. Lisa graces the cover of LUSA, marking her first appearance in months and sparking widespread discussion. As the first K-pop solo artist to achieve this, Lisa's stunning visuals and comments on Blackpink's future have captivated fans. She assured that Blackpink has no plans to slow down, thrilling fans with her words. Additionally, Lisa revealed she learned the choreography for Rockstar just an hour before the shoot, her latest teaser for the upcoming single New Woman featuring Rosalia and directed by Dave Meyer, has fans eagerly anticipating its August 15th release. Meyer, known for his work on hits like No Tears Left to Cry and Bad Guy directed this project, further heightening excitement. Lisa continues to solidify her status as a fashion icon with upcoming appearances in Louis Vuitton campaigns and Vogue Japan.
Red Velvet has achieved a significant milestone by making their debut on the Billboard 200 with their latest EP, Cosmic, which entered the chart at No. 145 this week. This accomplishment comes 10 years after the group's debut, highlighting their enduring popularity and influence in the global music scene. What's particularly notable is that Red Velvet managed this feat without signing with an American record label. The EP's entry into the Billboard 200 followed its official physical release in the US, a month after its global release, proving the power of their dedicated fanbase and the strong demand for their music across international markets. Dita and Sudam of Secret Number captivated viewers in their new show, Start Shopping Global, where they introduced a range of Korean health products to a global audience. Both idols looked beautiful in their simple outfits, effortlessly showcasing their natural charm. The episode focused on the rising popularity of K-Health, with Dita and Sudam highlighting traditional Korean wellness products like red ginseng and omija syrup. They shared personal experiences with these items, making the segment both relatable and engaging. Their genuine connection with the products and the audience made the show a delightful and informative experience for fans of K-Health and Secret Number. Black Swans and V recently opened up about her dedication to improving her live vocals in preparation for the group's latest single, Roll Up in a Heartfelt Post. She shared her journey of hard work and determination that started in October of last year. Ni candidly admitted that one of the key areas she wanted to improve from the Karma era was her live vocals, acknowledging that they were not as stable as she desired. Determined not to waste the time she had been given, she made a promise to herself to work hard to enhance her vocal performance. V expressed her gratitude to her trainers, particularly thanking her vocal and Pilates instructors for helping her build the strength to sing and dance live. Although she believes there's still room for improvement, V is proud of the progress she's made and looks forward to performing Roll Up Live. Fans are eagerly anticipating Black Swan's upcoming performance of Roll Up on Simply K-Pop Contour, scheduled for August 19th at 7 p.m. KST. Fans who want to be part of the action can apply to join the live online audience, which adds an interactive element to the group's performance. Moreover, Black Swan will continue promoting Roll Up with an appearance on Show Champion next week, as they are part of the newly released lineup. This continued promotion is expected to keep the momentum going for the group as they engage with fans and showcase their latest work. Black Swan's popularity has been steadily rising, as evidenced by their recent achievements on various charts. The group secured the third position on MyPix's Best K-Pop Group Monthly Chart, a result determined by fan voting. This is a significant accomplishment, reflecting the strong support from their fan base. Additionally, Black Swan reached the second position on MyPix Trend Female Chart for the month, highlighting their growing influence in the industry. The group's success extends to radio as well. Black Swan is currently holding the third position on MBC Radio, a highly competitive platform in South Korea. If the group can climb to second position, they will gain substantial benefits, including increased exposure on one of the country's largest radio stations. This achievement would mean that millions of Koreans would discover Black Swan, with their songs receiving multiple plays throughout August. In other news, Black Swan Sriya recently surprised fans with her interaction with former Black Swan member Young In. Sriya and Judy have begun following each other on Instagram, sparking curiosity and excitement among fans. The interaction between current and former members has led to speculation about potential reunions or collaborations, adding an element of nostalgia and intrigue to the group's narrative. Black Swan has also been engaging with influencers and other artists, further expanding their reach. The group recently interacted with Filipina dance influencer Inabi, who received a signed roll-up album from the members. This interaction has fueled speculation that Black Swan and Inabi might release a collaboration video for Roll Up which would certainly be a treat for fans. Additionally, Gabby collaborated with Tony on his new single challenge, Juggling and Ninvi revealed that Black Swan met Bam Bam backstage. Fans are eagerly anticipating more interactions between Black Swan and other K-pop idols, particularly hoping for a collaboration between Black Swan and Bam Bam, whether it be for Roll Up or Bam Bam's latest song Last Parade.